And if I ever fail, just know I'll go again I never quit, cause I know that every loss May lead to another win, I'm going up I bet when I land, they gon' tell me it's luck again See that I'm winning, it's harder to watch I'm setting the stage, you should give me my prize You ain't got no soul, you lacking the spirit You talk out your neck, I'ma show you I'm with it I've been really happy you to sit and watch me win again And win again and win again I know it's probably getting on me and when I'm sending them So if I ever win again, it's nobody the minimum I didn't have to sell my soul Please don't play no games with me It was never about the fame to me It needed the best, so they came to me Welcome to Keep It 100, Oklahoma High School Sports on this Saturday morning. Coming from Harrow High School on their media day with my man Big E and Mr. QB1 himself for 8th grade, Mr. Zach. Zach Crab. Zach Crab. Yep. What a hell of a name. <laughs> <laughs> so tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, I'm starting quarterback for the 8th grade. Uh, I play football for Harrow. And, yeah. What else sports do you play? Uh, I play track and basketball. You play basketball? Yeah. So what's, what's yeah. your favorite sport? Uh, football, for sure. Okay, so, what, I mean, you say you play QB here. So, you know, last year, you know, you was quarterback for the uh, seventh grade team. Mm-hmm. What was y'all's record last year? Uh, I think it was like four and like three or like three and four. Three so, and four? Yeah, so you good. feel like this team this year going into your eighth grade right before you get in the high school, you feel like this team is better? Yeah, a lot better. So what, what makes this team better? Because, I mean, you guys got a great high school coach and Coach Blink. I'm telling you, we've done some stuff with him, and he gets me excited. I'm a 50-year-old man. He makes me want to go put on the pads again when he talks and gets you guys fired up. So what what brings to the eighth grade team that you, you guys going to be better this year than you were last year? Like, the coaches got a lot better, um, and then the players as well. Like, um, our running backs and stuff are really strong, and so are like our linemen and stuff. So I think we're pretty good. That's good stuff. So, I mean, so who do you base your game off? If you just say there's a QB out there, who would you say you're like? Uh, kind of like Lamar Jackson. I like to run. I Woo! can a little bit. That's what I'm talking about, man. Is that hey. your favorite quarterback, Lamar Jackson? No, nah, probably Patrick Mahomes. Patrick Mahomes. Patrick Mahomes. Mahomes. That's yeah. good stuff. That's good stuff. So, you know, you said you play basketball, too. So, you know, what's your basketball game like? Uh, it's kind of like speedy and uh, just how to get to the rim, you know. Okay, okay. okay. Shoot a little bit, too. Yeah. Big E, you got any questions for me? Yeah, so, uh, you know, I know you're just in eighth grade, but um, looking into the future here, if you could pick any college – like, let's say you had an offer from every D1 school in the nation. Who would you go to? Probably Texas. Texas. Texas? Wow. Texas? He wants that paycheck, doesn't he? Why would you pick Texas over Oklahoma, Oklahoma State? Why would you pick Texas? Uh, I mean, I like their facility and uh, just, like, their coaches and stuff. You know what I like about that? You kept it 100, and that's what we do on this show. We keep it 100. Well, I want to say thank you for coming on the show and joining us, man. I mean, as an eighth grader, this is not going to be the only time we talk to you because next year you'll be up to high school, mm-hmm. and we do a lot with Harrod High School Sports. And like I said, I appreciate you coming on the show and joining us for this this morning. Thanks, sir. Thank you have you a great me. season. Yeah. And our next guest on Keeping 100 at Oklahoma High School Sports this morning is Mr. Jacob Byerman. How you doing this morning, sir? Pretty good, pretty good. It's a nice morning. It is a nice morning. It's pretty cool to have us out here to be part of y'all's media day. It's our first media day as Keep It 100. Yeah. It's kind of cool uh, for us. And then it's cool to come out and hang out on a Saturday morning because you know what that means? It means football is here. <laughs> it's football season. Yes, sir. Hey, yeah, man. That's it. That's it. So tell me a little bit about yourself. Uh, I'm an eighth grade running back, and I play some inside linebacker. Yeah. I mean, You're a good-sized young man, man. I mean, you look like you can suit up for the high school right now. <laughs> I mean, you do. <laughs> I mean, you're a good size. I mean, that'd be pretty fun, I'm going to be so, honest. Uh, what, so how, how big are you? Uh, I'm a 5'6". I weigh, like, about 135 pounds. Not bad, not bad. So, so what sports did you play? Football, basketball, and play a little bit of track. A little bit of track? You look like a wrestler. You're built like a wrestler, too. Yeah, I get, I get told that a lot. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good thing. So tell me a little bit about yourself out on the football field. You know, what makes you dominant on, on since you play both sides? You know, what, what's what's your favorite side, offense or defense? Definitely offense, definitely oh. offense. It's pretty fun. So you I run mean, over people what? Heck yeah, man. I mean, it's like, it's just different on the field, man. You just get to run. And it's fun. That's good stuff. That's good stuff. So I'll tell you, you know, like, uh, you know, who, who's your favorite college team? Uh, I don't know, man. I don't, it's like, I'm not quite thinking about that right now. Just mainly thinking about this right now. Well, that's good stuff, though. Hey, you gonna take? You want to take care of business right here in the middle school? Then you get in high school. Then you start concentrating on oh, your yeah. on your on your on your uh, college uh, career. Uh, that's good stuff, though. So, I mean, like I said, you know, you know, tell me and E, you know, you know, like, you know, what's your favorite food? Favorite food? Heck, I don't know, man. I love eating stuff. <laughs> well, I can see that you get side duck that, yeah. though. Yeah. But if you had to have a meal before a game, what would you pick? Well, I'll tell you my favorite like fast food. I like Subway. 
Subway. Subway. Most young men at your age say Chick Fil A. I like uh, that. I'm a Subway guy. I always get the uh, steak, the steak club, man. I mean, it's probably not good for my health, but I I love me (laughs) some Subways. When you go to Subway, you get your chocolate chip cookie too. And I you gotta get that white chocolate macadamia. Nut. <laughs> they got the white. They got the best white chocolate cookies out. Let's get stuff. Let's get stuff. So, uh, oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead, yeah. Nikki. So uh, you know, with you being a running back and everything, what's a running back that you look up to, maybe at the college or uh, professional level in the NFL? Uh, I look back? at all of them, man. Oh, okay. I mean, just anything I can see is freaking. There you go. Helps a lot. That's Student of stuff. the game right here. So what's what's been your biggest game you played in? You know who who you played against? I mean, from little league to to middle school, who's been one of the, the toughest competition you you've ever had to face? Well, I mean, I'm a, I played third grade, I played six, seventh grade, and then this year I played third grade. Skipped so much I shouldn't have, honestly. Because why'd you skip? I I don't know. I can't I can't really remember that. <laughs> <laughs> that was a while. That was a while ago. Okay. Okay. But, uh, well, I appreciate you coming on the show, man. And like I said, good luck to you and your eighth grade team this, this upcoming season, okay? Thanks, sir. Have a good day. And our next guest is seventh grade Harrod Panther quarterback, Callan Whitna. How you doing today? Good. Good, good. So, you know, you're the quarterback of the seventh grade team. We talked to the quarterback of the eighth grade team just a minute ago. Yeah. So, uh, is there, do y'all kind of bounce off each other, bounce ideas off each other, work with each other? Uh, a little bit, yeah. Um, depends how the line's working and how the receiver's, like, like if it's the weather's different, how to yeah. throw the ball and stuff. Yeah, for sure. So uh, is he a guy that you kind of look up to? Him being a little bit older than you and uh, oh, uh, I got held back. So we're basically like same. oh okay, same age. So you, so you know him it's probably yeah. from your younger ages. You were probably yeah. classmates. Okay, cool. So so tell me, what do you think about Harrow football? You know, I mean Harrow football was a, before Coach Blink got here. Uh, you guys had some good guys come through here. A couple guys, that, you know, Jeff Robinson was here and his big brother yeah. was here and, and went off and played at OU and you know Joe was here uh, all the way up to his senior year, and he left and went over to Choctaw. And uh, so you've had some guys come through here uh, that's been the D1 prospects. But, you know, since Coach Blink has got here, you can tell the, the atmosphere of this team has changed a lot. So what do you th- what in your mind, what do you think of Harrow football? Uh, I like it a lot. It's kind of a family around here. Bleak kind of brought that up. Sure. And we've been playing pretty tight. Yeah, and you can see that. You can see since he's been here, he's changed the atmosphere out here. You know, having this media day, having you young guys come and speak and get you ready because this is something about it. You know, especially you being a QB, you're always going to be talking to somebody. Somebody's always going to have a mic in your in your face. So it's good that you get to learn in this, and and they're letting you guys come out and do this. So so that's good stuff. So as far as you as a QB, um, would you consider yourself more of a passer, more of a runner? I mean, what, what would you consider yourself? I'm really good at both, but I run better. You run better? Yeah. So, I mean, who's the quarterback that you look up to? Uh, I, I don't really pay attention to the older ages, but, like, Nolan Boone that came through here. Yeah. Yeah. That's I good stuff. Him. So, what else sports did you play besides football? I wrestle and play. That's baseball. what I'm talking about. We got a wrestler in the house. You know why I say that? <laughs> My boy wrestles. So, I get excited about wrestlers, though, man. And, I, you know, and, and he was – wrestling really helped him a lot in football. Uh, because of the balance and, 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 and it's a strong mind because you know I mean cutting weight anytime yeah. you got to cut weight you know you got to be on top of the game so uh, what weight do you wrestle at? Uh, 110 110 so that's, that's a good size so you go you ain't gonna be the 106 pounder we know that when you get in yeah. high school you got to wrestle a little bit bigger than 106 so you probably be looking at about 113 120 but yeah. that's good stuff though but uh so do you, do you like wrestling a lot I mean yeah. what's what is your favorite sport? Probably wrestling, just okay. because like it keeps me in shape. Yeah, that's good stuff. Good. You always gonna have a six pack. You ain't gonna yeah. have one of these. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that, that's good stuff, though, man. Like I said, you know what 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 kind of uh, team you guys gonna have this year uh, on the seventh grade team? Y'all I think we have a pretty good team. We're gonna be more of a passing team. That's I think. good. That's good. You guys got a good running back that can help you out. We got a good running back. Yeah. That's good stuff. That's good stuff. E, you got any questions for my man? Yeah. Uh, you know, as a quarterback, you said are you more of a passer, runner? Runner. Runner for sure. Okay, so you got a little running attack with that good running back that you got. All yeah. right. So uh, what game are you looking forward to most this season? Uh, the McLeod game. McLeod, McLeod. game. Yep. Is, uh, that, is that like a rival? We, oh. Do we have them? Yeah. yeah. Right. <laughs> I had to ask yeah, his coach yeah. real yeah, quick. Yeah. But yeah. <laughs> that's what I'm talking yeah, That's what those, we do on media day. It's wide open, y'all that folks. don't know out here, Hera versus McLeod, probably the biggest rivalry on this side of the state for yes, sure. Sir. So, yeah. Well, you know, I mean, I don't know if you play Little League here, but you guys just got this turf. I remember back in the day, yeah. this was a, 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 was a, I mean, if it rained here, it was a mud bath, you know. So, uh, Harris come a long way from the new turf and what they're doing out here, from the media to, to the, you know, the, the guy to take pictures. Uh, we got a chance to meet him in the videos you guys are putting out. I just think Harris has turned the notch and, 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 and doing big things out here. And a lot of it has to do, with, like I said, with Coach Blake, but, you know, 
but it all starts with that middle school program too. You guys are going to be the one that's going to help them get to the next level and try to win that, that state championship out here. So, uh, you know, good luck to you and to your teammates this year, and, and go take care of business. And good luck at wrestling season, too. Go win Thank state. You. Thanks, sir. Have a Thank you. And our uh, next guest, final guest for our middle school portion of this show is Mr. Cooper Miller, uh, Panther back and linebacker, you said? Yes, sir. All right. So you said Panther back. You came up here. I was kind of – Scratch my head a little bit. Can maybe you scratch it? my head. Maybe yeah. turn my head. I think he's like a tight end. Tight end? Okay. A little tight end. H back. All right. Cool. So uh, explain what you do in that position there. We go. We kind of do like little passes. Okay. Just short passes, and we block sometimes. All right. Cool. So you guys, you got good hands. Yeah. And you catch. So if, if we threw you one, you can catch it right here one-handed. Yeah. That's good stuff. Do you wear gloves or no gloves? Depends what day. I like that. <laughs> so do you work a lot on, on, on blocking or you work more on on, on, uh, on, on catching? What, what, do you, what, do you, you know, what do you work on the most when you're at practice? Probably blocking, probably. That's good stuff. So that's good stuff. So, you know, they need a third down or they need a first down that's third and five. Are they looking to go to you to get that first down? Going out to my side. That's it. That's it. So you play linebacker too? Yes, sir. So you're a hard hitter? So you like offense or defense better? Defense. Defense because you get to hit people. I was kind of like that, man. I played offense when I was younger, and I, I didn't like to get I, I didn't like to get hit, man. I don't think I liked to hit, so I think I was just I was just out there, just keeping one hundred, you know. So that's good stuff, though, man. It's pretty cool what Harris is doing out here these days, you know, as far as the media and having you guys, the young guys, come out and be part of the media. Uh, so what do you think about Coach Blink, man? What he's done so since, since he's been here. He's done a lot. He's he's a really good coach. He cares about the team a lot. Yeah, he does. He does. Absolutely. He does. So what's your favorite meal? Turkey patties. Turkey what? Turkey patties. Turkey patties. I ain't never heard of it. What's a yeah. turkey patty? I don't know. I, I don't know. Is that like a burger but with turkey meat? Yeah. Okay. But there you go. just eat the turkey patty. All right. That's good Ooh. stuff. That's good stuff. So tell us a little bit. You know, you, uh, you play any other sports? I do wrestling and baseball. Wrestling and baseball. So what, what's, what's your favorite? Wrestling. Wrestling. The last guy we just had on here, man, and you guys got a great coach in Coach Miller, man. My son. Yeah, that's my dad. For real? Well, Gabe Johnson's my son. Yeah. So y'all are related. What's yeah. up? <laughs> that's what we do over here. We keep it 100. I didn't know that, Mr. Mallet. That's funny. I knew you had a, you have a big sister, right? Yeah. And she just went off to college. Yeah. I'm sorry, folks. I'm jumping all over the place, but hey, who's <laughs> family here? But that's good stuff, though, man. Uh, yeah, yeah. Mr. Miller's done a great job, you know, in, in the wrestling program. And, and like I said, you being a football player and a wrestler, man, is, is really cool because, like I said, it's kind of how I gave one, though, man. That, that really gives me fun. Well, you got to tell your dad I said hi, man. I, I love you. here. Well, you know, good luck to you this season. I know you're going to go take, uh, take care of business on that wrestling match and go win your state champion, all right? Take care. Good luck. You Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. All right. Well, that's all for the middle school portion of the show. Next on, it looks like we'll maybe be having some of the high school guys on and then some of the coaches. So uh, stay tuned, and uh, we'll be right back after one of our sponsors on Keep It 100, Oklahoma High, high school, school Sports. <laughs> High school sports on this Saturday. I mean, Saturday morning, I hear the Hair Panthers on their media day, and it's special to us because we get to talk to the high school guys. These are the guys that get to play on Friday nights and make everything happen. We're with the outstanding junior defensive back, wide receiver, Mr. Who? Jackson Wilson. Jackson Wilson, folks, and here we are. I so cut Jackson, you off. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> go ahead. Go ahead. That's what we do, folks. We keep it 100. We get excited because, hey, this is our first Saturday morning media day, and we'll get to have fun. So, Jackson, tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, I've been raised in Harrow my whole life. Okay. I've been here, so uh, uh, I'll be a junior. I mean, I play wide receiver DB. Uh, I'm excited to be here. So you said you've been in Harrow your whole life. So you remember this field when it was muddy. On, on a rainy day, you couldn't even play because it was so muddy. But Coach Blink and these guys have done a big thing about getting you guys this new turf field. And you guys are taking care of business, though. So so what's it been like, you know, I mean, coming up through, the, like I said, the middle school, now, you know, through high school and, and getting a coach like Coach Blink, what's it been like? I can say he's turned the program around completely, uh, especially since my middle school year. I mean, yes, even freshman year, 
he, he just completely turned it around and uh, f fixed a lot of problems that was deep within the community and the high school and everything. And I think that I, I, uh, I look up to him a lot. No, you know what? You know, we've had Blink on our show a couple of times, and, and he gets us excited when he comes on because of the, the passion. And like I told one of the middle school guys earlier, I'm a 50-year-old man. He makes me want to go put on pads again when he gets to talking and speaking and, and, and talking about the community because he loves his community. And believe me, he looks like one of you guys. I tease him all the time. He looks like he's 12 years old. He can probably go play quarterback for the school that nobody will know about it. But, you know, going into the season, what are you guys looking forward to? Uh, beat McLeod. Beat McLeod. Beat McLeod. Beat McLeod. That's goal so number why, one. So tell me this. Why you guys don't like McLeod? I don't think there's a reason to like McLeod. <laughs> you know what I like about that, Jackson? You what keeping it 100. That's what we like here. Keep it 100. So what? So if, if there's anybody else that you don't like besides McLeod, Redskins, and I got a good little buddy over there, Cole. Cole Kennedy is one of my little guys. I help train, but Cole, they come to get you this season. But yes, sir. Uh, what else? What else? Which uh, another team that you that you, you you got on the map that you want to play this year? Uh, I mean, every team. I mean, I think we got a chance to beat every team, and I think that should be our mindset. That's good stuff, though. You know, you guys like last year you went in the playoffs. I think you got, who'd you have first? Was it was it Clinton? Yeah. Uh, and I think it was your, your running back got hurt, right? Yes, sir. Nick and Moore. Nick Moore. He was on the show with us. We remember Nick Moore. Nick, uh, Nick Moore. He was on the show. But I, I tell you, going into that game, you guys had a good a chance to win the ball game and I think him going down and kind of let a win out of the balloon so uh, what do you guys got you know uh, you know each year everybody puts a little model that what they want to do what's y'all model this year what you want to do uh, going into the season uh, we're fearless we're not afraid to play anybody we're not we're not gonna be scared to do anything and whatever it takes to win the game that's good stuff that's good stuff so you play any other sports besides football uh, I play basketball and I run track can you dunk I can. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. I like a young, I can't dunk. I never could dunk. I never had no hops. So when they said no hops, they called me Tony Johnson, no hops. So Ian, you got any questions for Mr. Uh... Yeah, absolutely. So, uh, you know, who do you look up to most at, uh, in your uh, high school playing career? Uh, I mean, definitely Coach Ricky, Coach Bleak's son. Uh, just both of them, they've helped me, I mean, tremendously. I mean, Ricky was my mentor last year. So uh, him being my coach this year, I mean, it, it's definitely cool and it helps a lot. And definitely Coach Bleak, he's been a big inspiration because there was a point in time where I didn't want to play football and he kind of fueled that fire and he, he brought football back into my life. Very cool. Very that's cool. some good stuff though, you know. And, and that's the thing about it though, man, you know, a lot of times you got, and, and I tell people all the time, man, you know, uh, I'm blessed. My, my, my daughter uh, married a young man that's six, seven, so hopefully I have some tall grand, grandkids. But I tell people all the time, this is no truth. If, if, if you're a basketball player, you're about six one, six two, and, and I'm going to use Jordan Mukes for uh, example. Kid was over at Chata, uh was a good basketball player, but he could jump out of the gym. And so, oh, you saw him jump. And I think if you're a good basketball player and you're not going to be six four, six five as a guard, I think you should go into to football and, and, and get yourself a scholarship because, I mean, you can't buy height. Uh -uh. You can't buy hops. I wish you could. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Me too. But so I just think, you know, uh, that's good that you are playing, you know, multiple sports. And, and running track is also going to help your speed too. So, uh, I, you know, good luck to you this season. And the Hair Panthers, I think you guys are ready, man. I know Blink is going to have you guys ready to go towards playoffs. So good luck to you this, year, this season, okay? Thank you, sir. Thanks, sir. Yeah. Thank you for coming on. Keep it at 100 Thank Oklahoma you. High School Sports. We'll be right back with our next guest. And our next guest is none other than Mr. Terrence Allen. Terrence Allen. And uh, explain a little bit about yourself. I mean, uh, I'm a junior. I like to – I play football. I play outside linebacker and tight end. And I'm just here to work. Here to so, work. That's right. You play any other sports besides football? Yes, sir. I do track and I do powerlifting. Well, that's good stuff. So, that's I mean, so you're keeping yourself active. Uh, track is making you faster. And like I said, being a tight end, you're making yourself stronger doing powerlifting. So, I, I like that. Uh, what's your favorite sport, though? My favorite sport has to be football. Football. <laughs> football. So I mean, are you planning? Are you trying to, you know, plan on trying to go to the next level and play in college? Yes, sir. So if there's a school that you was looking at and you're watching this show, who would you want to go play ball for? Honestly, I have not even looked that far into it yet. I kind of just want to go wherever the uh, whatever program speaks to me because I mean, Coach Bleak has been like a huge influence when it comes to like just having a leader that you know cares about his players. So that's kind of what I'm looking for, like filling out on. So, I, I like that, man, you know, and, and it's so funny because, you know, Blink has changed his program around 
Uh, I know before he got here, they were sitting at one and nine. It wasn't winning ball games. Everybody's homecoming. But now you guys are putting yourself on the map, you know, uh, especially with all the schools around you, like, a, you know, Carl Albert or Choctaw, a Jones, uh, Dell City, you know, Midwest City. And, and people are saying, hey, you know what? We're not going to go to those schools. We're going to skip over here and come to Heron now. And, 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 and making Heron's program a, a better program than, you know, what it used to be. You know, like I said, uh, when you get a coach that's, that's fired up about his players and fired up about the, the community. And, and, and think about small communities like this. Everybody comes out and stack and pack the stands out on, on a Friday night. So that's good stuff, though. So did you go to middle school here, too? Yes, sir. I came here in the eighth grade, and then I've been here ever since. That's good stuff. That's good stuff. Uh, so what's, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm asking, what's one of your favorite meals? One of my favorite meals, I would have to say I like fried chicken. So fried chicken? Yeah, what do you like? You like Popeye's or Church's better? I like my mom cooking. Ah! I, don't really like, I don't like going out. Hey, to mama, eat. he gave you some shout-out. Like he gave my mama some shout-out. That's what I'm talking about. My wife don't like make fried chicken, so if I ever get it, I got to go to my mom's, though. But uh, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a Popeye's guy. I like that Popeye's chicken sandwich, so I, I, I can't eat. So uh, besides football, you know, what else do you do? Do you play any, I mean, you play any video games or, you know, what, I mean, what, what's some of your hobbies? I Madden and then track, and that's honestly it, track and lifting weights every morning. So, so who's your team on Madden? My team on Madden right now. You don't say Baltimore. No, Who? nah, nah. I got to go with them Cowboys. Yes! I'm a Cowboys, Cowboys fan. You, I, I mean, I'm a Dallas, and, every, and I know as Cowboys fans, we say it year in, year out. This is our year. But guess what? This is, this our, is our year. year. <laughs> this is our year. Yes, sir. So, yeah, if, if that, he's a – he's – I don't even talk about his team. He lost I'm a, his. I'm a Packers man. He's a Packers. He don't even have a receiver to throw to. So we can't give him no love. He still got hey, the good quarterback. We got Alan Lazard. I believe in him. Ah, uh, but I'm telling you, it's our year of the Cowboys fan. Yes, though. sir. Well, I appreciate you coming on Keep It 100, man. Good luck to you. Hope you have a great, yes, great, great season on both sides of the ball. You know, set goals for yourself. You know, as far as that tight end and even that playing that linebacker. So go take care. Uh, go take care of business and, and, and have a heck of a season. Yes, sir. All right. Thank you for coming on. Yes, sir. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Sir. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Our next guest is Mr. Luke Sellers. How are you doing today? Doing good today. Doing good. 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 So you. tell us a little bit about yourself. What position do you play? And uh, you know what? Uh, what grade you're going into? Uh, I play receiver and DB. I'm going into my junior year. Junior. Well, uh, folks, I'm sorry. Go ahead, Luke. Oh, no, no, I'm, you... I'm excited. No, you go <laughs> ahead, man. I'm excited to talk uh, about. It's my you. second year at Hera, and uh, it's my first uh, year with like all the like this year is just completely different from last year, and I feel like. We're going to have a great year. And I last mean, year, you guys had a good year, too. Yeah, we did have a good playoffs. year. I know you got beat the first round, you know, against Clayton. Your running back goes down. But I, I tell you, you know, you know, talk to some of the guys this morning. Um, it, it seems like everybody's on the same page. It seems like Blinky got you guys program and, hey, you know, we're going to go take care of business. But it seems like you guys got some height. You guys got some good size here. Uh, you know, we, we appreciate everybody letting us come out on media day and, and, and do this. And so, you know, I'm looking at you, man. You, I mean, you're sitting here at 6'3 as a junior. Um, you play basketball too? No, nah, I play basketball. I run track. Just run track. But I, I, I tell you, though, so when they got you they got you split out, you, are you mostly one-on-one? -on -one? You get double teamed? Oh. Tell me a little bit about your game. I move around all over the field. They have me in the slot. They have me outside, one-on-one. -on -one. They got you in the slot? They got me everywhere. <laughs> Boy, I'll tell you right now, linebackers are like, God, I got to cover this big dude. So, I mean, what do you base yourself? Are you more of a speed receiver? You got good hands? Or are you a possession receiver, third, Route five? Runner. Are they going to you? What, what, oh. What's the I just I pride myself on being able to get open and you know I catch everything that hits my hand so that's good stuff man I like that I like uh -huh. that so are you you got any colleges looking at you because I mean you're a good sized young man you can't buy a six three every day hey they not coming in yet I don't know what's happening they happening? gotta see my film hey man tell about your hey, hey tell, tell tell keep it one hundred with your Twitter we gotta get hey. you out there you let people know who you are you six three walking around and you can catch hey folks we y'all miss hey Coach <laughs> Blink we gotta get this man out here he's six three. <laughs> I want to put him on my fantasy team. That's what I'm talking about. Hey, man. What's your Twitter? Luke Sellers 2024. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. So last year, did you get to play? Did you play varsity last year? Yes, sir. I played varsity. Did you last play uh, receiver too? Yes, sir. I did. So what? What? How many yards you have last year in TDs and all that? Oh man, we were in a, we, we was a running team last year, you know. But this year is is completely different. We have really different. brand new. We have different weapons. You know, my quarterback this year. He's Who is y'all's QB? We talked to everybody but the QB. Hey, Joey McLaughlin. Joey, he's well, he just, he just a sophomore, huh? He's just, hey, not just a sophomore. 
I, I, I tell you this though, because I went back and I did a little bit of research. I went and watched y'all seven on seven, man, and you guys are just clowning people. I mean, just clowning people. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And, and, and that's what kind of let me know that you guys have opened up. Like you said, last year you was led by your big running back, but this year I think you guys are, that passing game is going to open a lot of stuff up. And like I said, you being and playing the slot outside receiver, moving you around, and you got good hands and great speed. I just tell you, man, team's going to be. I tell you right now, I know McLeod is probably looking like, what can we do to slow this man down? I mean, you got Big Luke out here, so man, I, I tell you, it's, 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 it's kind of exciting what you guys gonna do this season because it, it ain't the same hair. Even though you went to playoffs last year, but I still don't feel like it's the same hair team. Bro. Oh no, we all have high expectations. So, so what are you doing off time? To what, what's 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 a Luke Saturday night like? Saturday night, man, I just like to go home. <laughs> <laughs> I like, hey, you keep it one hundred yeah, here. I like to go home. I don't like to do anything crazy. I yeah. just. Hang out, chill. You play, you play the Xbox, PlayStation. Oh play? yeah, hey, I play with Terrence Allen on the Madden. Oh, do you? He, oh, he yeah. was talking about how good he said he's a Cowboys fan. Xbox or PlayStation? PlayStation. Oh right. man, we, we PlayStation. For, man, you gotta be an Xbox. See, PlayStation <laughs> for guys with small hands. I tell people, <laughs> people with small hands play. The, uh, see, guys with big hands play the Xbox. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's what we do. So <laughs> I used to be a PlayStation guy when I had little hands, but my hands grew, so I had to go to the Xbox. They got bigger controllers. So, so who's your team on Madden? The Cowboys. Oh, y'all both Cowboys? Yeah, yeah. Hey, I, hey, I love the Cowboys. <laughs> like I told him. I said, man, this is our year. And I'm going to hey, say it again. Every this, year's our year. Every year every is year's our, year. our year. I'm telling you, this is our year, though. I really do. He's a Packers fan, so we got to boo him Oh, my gosh. So, hey, I mean, what happened so, the last few times Packers played the Cowboys? Let's not talk about it. <laughs> That's the past. Right. That's, That's the, the past. past. <laughs> That's it. That's the past. Well, Luke, we appreciate you coming on Keep It 100, man. And like I said, go ball out and do your thing, man. Uh, get your every – I'll tell you like this, man. I'm going to tell every young man, every time you make a play, put it on your Twitter page and tweet it out. Let people know who you are. Because, yes, sir. Getting them uh, coaches' DMs, yeah, too. Yeah, yeah. Get in oh, there, yeah. man. Find you about five to six coaches that you like. I mean, because you can't buy your size. You can't buy your hands. Find you about five or six coaches that you like and schools you like and DM. And going into your senior year, next this, – this, this coming up fall, I mean, you know, when uh, spring comes around, Need to go hit some camps and get out there and get yes, your, sir. you know let people know who you are. All right. Yes, sir. Good luck to you. Thanks for having me. Like, all right. Hey, I want 14 touchdowns, 1100 yards. Oh yes, sir. I got right. you. I got me. Appreciate it. Our next guest is Mr. Jeremiah Marcella. Jeremiah Marcella, and uh, you are a wide receiver DB. Yes, sir. All right. What grade are you going into? I'm going to be a senior. 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 All right. So leader this year. Yes, sir. So how do you feel going into the senior year with this team that you got around you? Um, I'm super excited. All right. And I feel like we're going to do a lot of big things. That's big time. That's big time. I, I, I see you guys, man. Um, you know, the last few years, you used probably here. You know, did you go to middle school here? No. Nah, I came here, like, after Christmas break or freshman year. Okay, okay. But you guys didn't have a winning season then, though, did you? Not that I know No, of. no. And, and I think, what you know, having Coach Blink, and I've said this to all the other guys who's been on the show this morning, is that – he has turned this program around so much. It's you can see it. You can see it by media day sitting out here. Everybody's having fun. The parents are out here. You got little babies out here on the on, on the on the on the field. You know, running around, and, and that's what it's all about. And, and it's a family because at the end of the day, I tell people all the time, college football is fun. Yeah. But high school football is even funner. Because high school, you're going to remember these brothers, you know, before the game, y'all going to say, hey, man, let's go over here to Subway. Let's go over here to Chick-fil-A and grab us a sandwich before the game. Let's go over here and have a bad tournament. And that's what it's all about because when you guys move away, you might not even see these guys or talk to these guys anymore. So enjoy this senior year, man. Go ball out and do your thing, though. So, um, like I said, you, you know, you play wide receiver and you got big Luke. And so what, do you, what position do you play? You play inside or outside? What uh, got slot. You Slot? Yeah. So you are you based on speed or good hands? But which one? I feel like I'm the fastest. That's what I'm talking about. He's keeping it 100. He is the fastest. That's like I want to hear. Was Luke going? Is Luke going to say the same thing? I mean, I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully, he keeps it 100. Too. That's it. That's it. I like it. I like it. So you know. So uh, besides football, you play any other sports? Uh, uh, baseball is my second main sport. That's good. That's good. That's good stuff here. You know. Um, so, I mean, what do you feel like going into the season that it's going to take y'all to get to the playoffs again and, 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 and try to compete for a state championship? What, what do you um, feel like? We just got to keep our heads straight and just do what it got to take and stuff like that. And just, like, basically that's, that's it. That's it. You got any questions? Yeah, so, uh, you know, who's uh, you got any colleges reaching out to you right now, talking to you? Um, I don't think so, no. Not yet? All but right. Hopefully they start coming in. Absolutely. You know, I mean, senior year is a big year to start getting yeah. offers, so, you know. Same thing I've been telling these other guys, just getting those coaches DMs, send out film, email, and everything mm -hmm. like that. So, uh, you know, who's a guy maybe at the college level or the uh, 
professional level that you look up to or try to model your game after? Uh, I like Debo for the 49ers. Okay, yeah, yeah, Debo. Yeah. I, I became a Debo fan last year. Had him on my Debo, fantasy yeah. team. Yeah. Yeah. Only, my only reason why I say that is because like we run like the same routes and stuff like that. Yeah. Okay. So, well, so are you going to be that kind of utility guy? They're going to be using you in some run plays and some passing plays? Yeah. All right. I, I tell you, you know, you just talked about Debo. He just signed his big contract, man, you know, and, and the thing the guy is, he can, he can beat you at a, at, at a running back, but he can beat you as a receiver. And, and, and that's the thing about it now that I think kids should be able to play multiple positions in NFL, college, whatever. And he's doing that, and he's showing, hey, I can play receiver and I can play running back. And uh, it's kind of like a, a, you know, heel, you know, for you – know, Used to be with Kansas City. Now he's with with the Dolphins. That you know, hey, my game. I can. I, I was a running back in college. I've come to the NFL. And I've become a great receiver. So, oh, uh, that's good that you guys look up to guys like that because those are great role models. Because you're saying, hey, man, you know, you got to work extra hard to, to be able to get on the field and do the things you need to do. So, um, going into like I said, going into the season, man. I know everybody talked about um, McLeod. Why? Why is this big rival? Why everybody hate McLeod, man? I don't know, like Jackson said, there's not a reason not to. <laughs> <laughs> I love it, I love it, I love it. But, you know, good luck to you this season, man. Go do thank your you, thing, man, you, and go ball out. Like I said, we'll be in a couple games, and we'll, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll get a chance to catch you, catch you this season, okay? Yes, sir. Thank you. Thanks for You're coming welcome. You know, We are here, you know, like I said, with uh, our outstanding linebacker, uh, Mr. Colton Whitner. Colton Whitner. I like that name, man. Whitner. That's pretty cool, man. That's cool last night. So, uh, playing, so, you know, you play outside linebacker. So, are you a guy that kind of lines everybody up, kind of get the calls? And, uh, you know, what, what do you consider yourself on the defensive side of the ball? Are you kind of like the captain? I try to, man. I try to as hard as I can. Get everybody straight and make sure everything's just going good out there. That's good stuff. So, what grade are you going to be in? Junior. Junior. So, hey, this is the thing about this team, though, man. You're talking about a lot of guys we've had come up here, and a lot of you guys are young that's starting and, and, and getting a lot of game on varsity level. And, and, that, and that's good because, you know, going into y'all senior year, you guys are going to be loaded and everybody's going to be on the same page. And, and last year, this team made it to the playoffs. And you can see, again, this team is looking forward to making the playoffs. And you guys got some good size and some good numbers out here. So, you know, so what do, what do you think is going into the season? What's, what's the season going to be like? Oh, we're going to dominate the season. We've been working hard out here. Everybody's ready. It's just going to be great. We're going to do good. Do good. So how many times did you have last year? Last year I played defensive line uh -huh. out there, and I didn't get a whole lot of time just getting out there, getting ready to varsity and getting used to it. And this year I'm hoping for a lot, though. That's good a stuff. Lot. That's good stuff. So who's your biggest rival game that you you, you look you can't wait? Oh, to? McLeod, week one, <laughs> week one, McLeod. Oh, y'all got McLeod one. week one this year. Oh, yep. man, that's good stuff. Everybody that's came up here has talked about McLeod. I don't know what McLeod has done to you guys, but hey, nobody on Hair Panther liked the McLeod Redskins. Yeah. McLeod, I feel sorry for you because these boys are ready to come hit you in the mouth. You better be ready. You better become <laughs> ready week one. I'm telling you right now. So tell me a little bit about yourself. You know, what do you do besides football? Uh, I do baseball too and powerlifting. Yeah, that's good stuff. And, and, and I know Coach Blink is behind the powerlifting a lot. I see him on Twitter you know, talking about it. And, and I tell you, powerlifting is the thing that, you know, especially like a linebacker, it gets you stronger, faster. And then, like I said, I, I, I think he's done a great job since he's been here with this program. It's got him turned around. I know when he got here, it wasn't winning. But, you know, since he's been here, they turned this program around and they're going to keep turning around. And you can see just by the atmosphere out here this morning, you know, people running up and down. I know our thing is going to be loud, yeah. but people running up and down the bleachers. But that's just part of it, man, that being out here and having a good time. It's, it's all about being a family, and I think this Hair Panther team has become a great family. You got any questions for him? Yeah, so, I mean, I've been asking uh, almost all the guys this question. Who's a guy maybe at the collegiate or professional level that you look up to or try to model your game after? Oh, I don't look after everybody older than me, but these guys out here, I look after them. I try to be like them every day. That's good stuff. I, go, I try to be after them. They, they're who I'm trying to be. I like that. I like oh, yeah. that. I like that, man. So, like I said, you know, so, uh, you know, we've asked some of the other guys, too. Like, what's, what's one of your favorite meals? Oh, any sort of grilled meat. Grilled meat? Any sort of grilled meat. I Absolutely. Gotta, I, I got to ask this last question. You know, all these other guys said they play mad. Do you play mad, too? No. Which, I ain't got time for that. <laughs> <laughs> so, what do you do in your spare time, then? Work or sleep. Work or sleep. That's right. not wrong with that, man. Yeah. I'm a napper. I love cat naps, so I'm, oh, a, yeah. I'm a big time napper. Well, good luck to you this season, man. Go ball on, do your thing, okay? Thank you. All right, yeah. thank you.
Welcome back to Keep It 100, Oklahoma High School Sports. Again on this Saturday morning over here at the Harrah Panthers Media Day. And folks, as you can see, we got a little bit bigger. We had to scoot down. <laughs> we brought some meat in. We brought the big lineman in to make everything happen. This is what everybody talks about. You know, we got the running back back here. We're going to let each one of these men introduce himself. You know, with my big man, Big E. You know, we're out here doing the media day. RT has not been able to make it, but that's okay. We still love you, RT. We're going to start it off here with Mr. Big Dawson. Tell, us, uh, t t tell your name and your position, and we'll move um, on to the next guy. I'm Dawson Harrell. I play uh, offense and defensive line. That's what I'm talking about. I'm Devin McCraig. I play running back and strong safety. My name is Joey McLaughlin. I'm a quarterback. Quarterback! Everybody been talking about QB1. <laughs> now I got to meet QB1. Talk. Hey, look at this guy right here behind me. He make <laughs> me look small. Talk to me. <laughs> I'm Jack Thompson, and I'm defensive line. Defensive line. Well, guys, like I said, you got your QB back here, and you got the running back, and these guys are kind of make it go. Uh, I know uh, I've watched you guys on a little bit of 7 on 7, and you guys been putting on the show, man, showing out, throwing touchdown passes, dancing in the end zone. I tell you, man, I know you guys had a great 7 on 7 season. Uh, everybody's talked about the QB Dawson, man. I know they had a good QB last year, but you got a QB that's a sophomore. It's going to be a three-year starter, and I just tell you, that makes a big difference, and he got a lot of weapons, man. You know, you looked at Luke, uh, you know, uh, Big Luke at 6'3", man, and say he can play in and out. Then you look at Big Dawson right here that's going to keep opening up holes, and you got the D, D lineman. He, he can't wait till they score for he can get on the field and take care of business. And then you got the running back right here, man. I look like a uh, – a, a young, a young bottle man. I mean, not only is he scoring touchdown, I know the girls are trying to get his autographs after the game. It's a pretty boy. So, guys, you know, you know, you're going into your, you know, your, your, your this season. Uh, you're ending your season last year, getting beat by Clinton in the first round of playoffs. Yeah. So, what, what, what's this season going to be like? I think it's going to be about the same energy-wise. Um, I think we'll, I think we'll have success uh, like uh, same as last year with the running game. I think that'll be a big part of uh, our program is the running game. But I think we'll have success. So, so I, I know Dawson, I mean, being an offensive lineman, do you like pass block better or run block? I like run blocks. <laughs> you know why? You know why you like run block? Because you could drag them down the field. Pass yeah. block, you got to sit there and bounce your hand, bounce your hand. But I tell you, though, you guys got a passing QB, so you're probably going to be doing a little bit more pass yeah. block this year. Yeah. So, Mr. Running Back, uh, tell me a little bit about yourself, though. You know, what grade are you in and all that? Uh, I'm a junior this year, and it's – I don't know if I'm going to let him pull the ball for me a lot. I might just take it. <laughs> but, you better not fumble, though. That's all you don't want to do. Yeah, you don't yeah. want to fumble. I'm going to, I'm going to get – my goal is to get the school rushing yard this year. That's a, what's, the, what's, the, what's, the, what's the record? Uh, it's about to be me. I yeah, know, that's, it. <laughs> that's it. That's it. Uh, so, I mean, last year, I mean, you, I know you guys had uh, Nick. Was it Nick Morris yeah, yeah. Uh, as a running back? And big, big, strong guy. Uh, I know you're probably not his size, but you look like you're a little bit more quicker and quick feet and all that. So what do you kind of base your game, your your, your, your running back style like? Uh, I would say, like, I'm a, I'm powerful when I need to be, yes, but I'm also light on my feet. I don't need a – I don't need to hit you most of the time, but when I do, you're going to feel it. That's what I'm talking about. I like this young man. And yeah. hey, not only is he a pretty boy, but he talks a lot of smack. I like that. That's the type of guy I like. So no one on this team can guard me, though. That's it. No, that's no, it. Can't tackle me. They can't tackle me. We can watch the film. That's it. And you, too. You can't, go, you can't tackle me. <laughs> they got smack the talking between each other. I like what about Cole Winter? Cole Winter, I scored on that. No. <laughs> You can swarm me, I still get out of here. Yeah. So, Mr. QB, man, I know, I know you're being a sophomore. I know you, you said you don't like interviewing, but man, you're the face of the team, though, man. You know, you're the team captain. You don't want to make everything happen. So, uh, so tell me, you know, going into the season, have you set goals for yourself, touchdowns, uh, passing percentage, and all that? I haven't really set goals for myself, to be honest. I kind of just, I want to have the best year I possibly can, and kind of get a feel for what I'm doing. You know, it's my first year starting varsity, so. Just kind of feeling out what it's going to be like, you yes, know. Sir, yes, I know sir. my teammates going to take care of me. Terrence Allen up back there. I know he's going to take care of me. We got this strong run game. Yeah. And it's going to it's gonna make it easier for me to pass, but I'm just kind of excited for the year and see how it goes. So yeah. when did you, you start playing QB? Last year. Last uh, year? Freshman year is my first year. I was, went out to be a receiver in first practice. He told me to go throw, and it was kind of a – to my plans, so I didn't know what's going on, to be honest. So, do you, so you study a lot of game film, though, you know, going yeah. over defense and stuff like that. You know, I, I look at your, you know, your attitude, and you come in, you seem very confident in yourself, and uh, not an ego guy. You seem like, hey, I'm going to go take care of business. Uh, I think if, if you throw a touchdown pass, if it's 80 yards or 10 yards, I think you're going to go give the credit to your receiver. And, and that's good. It's good to be humble, like the way you are, man. And I, I just think that with the, looking at this team, man, it, it, it's, it's, it's so funny because it's like, it seems like all you guys have been playing together since y'all was 
five years old yeah. and some of y'all just come together you know last few years and like you said you've been the qb just for two years but you know and, and everybody's talked about it like i said i watched your seven on seven highlights over the summer man and you guys i mean you put on the show you really did you, uh so it, it's like I said not only is Harry gonna have a great running game but also gonna have a great passing game mm -hmm. so tell me a little about yourself though you know you're, you're big defensive stopper uh i'm a junior Pretty much it. <laughs> nah, man, you gotta tell so you gotta tell me something, man. I mean, like what? I mean, yeah, who cut your hair, man? Come on, say something good. <laughs> about, on the I mean, I mean, how many sacks have people yeah, over? Running people over on defensive drills yeah. and yeah. pancakes. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. what grade you in? I'm a junior. A junior. So I mean, so have you always played defense, or you play any offense, or you yeah, just strictly play, defense? Play some defense and some offense. Some offense, but I mean, so what do you like better? Defense. Defense. Yeah. I mean, I gotta say, man. I mean, so I'm, I'm gonna ask you truthfully: Are you this nice on the field, or are you kind of mean? Kind of mean. That's what I want to hear. I want to hear. <laughs> well, guys, like I said, man, we appreciate you guys coming on, having us out on your media day, and it's been pretty cool to do this. This is our first time, me and Ethan, and uh, like I said, we're missing another partner, our third leg, but uh, you know, we, we still got it done. But I just said, I, I, I think what Coach Blink has brought to this team, and and and, and what you guys are going to do this season is going to be outstanding. And I know each one of you guys want to beat. What's that team y'all want to beat week one? McLeod. McLeod. I can't hear you. Oh, dude. McLeod. 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 You got to say it one more time. Who you want to beat week one? McLeod, McLeod bro. There it is. <laughs> well, guys, we appreciate you guys coming on Keep It 100, Oklahoma High School Sports. Good luck to you this season. Hope all you guys reach your goals and the things you want to do. Okay? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate y'all. With 25 years' experience in the industry, Linex Customs OKC is your one-stop shop for all your vehicle accessory needs. Specializing in spray-in liners, lifts, levels, wheels, tires, bed covers, and anything else you need to make your ride look and sound better. Call Eric and the boys at 405-778-8878. Welcome back to Keep It 100, Oklahoma High School Sports. We are joined by none other. All of y'all know him and love him. Mr. Coach Bleak, how you doing today? I'm doing great. Great weather today. Yeah. Uh, media day, everybody gets to show up, family, parents get to see you guys. Uh, I think the biggest thing is we, we appreciate you guys. I look forward to just seeing an uncut take on high school football and, and each of you guys, your personality, everything is just great for our state, there, for, for our area, and, and continue doing it, guys. Like I said, you're doing a good job. Appreciate it. Hey, Coach appreciate Blake, it. man, it's always a pleasure to get the chance to talk to you and, and see what you're doing here, man. I got a chance to talk to a lot of your, you know, your middle school all the way to high school, and I mean, this is our first media day, and, and we're excited about it. I mean, granted, you know, we might have some bleeps and booms, but you know, we'll, we'll keep getting better. And I think that, you know, we're, we're gonna keep coming out here and doing this. And, and, and what you've done, I tell you, man, uh, the video uh, your guy put out uh, about a week ago, it, it got me ready for football season. Uh, it made me want to go suit up and say, man, I'm a 50 year old man, I still got it. No, and I don't got it, but but it just tell you how good it is, man, what you've done out here, you know, you, you, know, you talk about your coaching, uh, you know, you got your son, it's gonna help you this year be in the box. But uh, so tell us about this team though, man, because I mean, it seems like everybody in the community Community. Every one of these young men got confidence, and you know, four or five years ago, these guys were winning one ball game, and now that since you've taken over the helm here, these guys are ready to hey, let's go win a state championship and put your name on the board and, and say hey, here football is for real. Yeah, I'll first start off by giving a shout out to Brandon Gibson. He's our media guy. He's an alumni of Hera. He does an unbelievable job. I know he's pretty hooked up during football season, but I, I think that he would probably consider some other avenues if anybody would reach out to him. But continue to, like I said, follow our Facebook page, our Twitter, stuff like that, Instagram, TikTok, all that. He, he will keep you guys updated, and, and it gets the kids pumped up. It gets me pumped up, and he just does a great job capturing Everything from first day football pads to spring ball to uh, summer pride and all that stuff. Um, as far as our staff goes, um, we're young, but some of the best men that I've been around, and that's the beauty of our profession. These guys get to work with me every single day, uh, talk to me, whether it be text, through huddle, anything like that. So super excited to work with them. Um, as far as our football team and our confidence and stuff, we are going to be young th this year. Uh, I think we graduated 20 seniors. Um, and and so have a have a light senior class, have a, have a good junior class, and then and then really an unbelievable sophomore class. So uh, have big expectations. Then there's gonna be a lot of I would say six or seven new stars on both sides of the ball, but uh, everywhere from our quarterback. Um, 
to, to both of our linebackers, to, to some new guys in the secondary and stuff. So we're just super excited. And I think confidence is built through uh, everything you do, through it be through spring ball, uh, how you prepare, uh, summer pride, and, and, and really just every day just chipping away at the, the standard and the expectation that we've set for those kids through the, the couple years that I've been here, but really through all the little things. Well, I tell you, Coach Britt, I know, like I said, I know you got it rocking and rolling over here. I mean, each one of these guys that came and spoke, like I said, from the middle school QB to the high school QB, they all got confidence in there, and they feel comfortable about what they're doing here. And, and every one of them said, you have changed this program around. And some of these guys have been here since they were babies, but, you know, I remember this field, and I have spoke on it earlier, I remember this field when it rained, you couldn't even play here because it was so muddy. But what what you guys have done here, you know, from the from the from the stadium, you know, redoing it and just having the, the sponsorships on the wall, everybody's behind Hero Football, you know. And, and I spoke on this earlier too, is that no one is saying, hey, I'm gonna stop at Kyle Arbor to go play football there. I'm gonna stop at Jones. I'm gonna stop at Chata. I'm gonna stop at Dell City. Uh, you know, McLeod. They're coming here. You're building new homes out here. You're building this place up. So you're starting to get great athletes to come in here and stay and not move out and say, I got to go over here and win. You can win here. You guys are getting in the playoffs. Last year, unfortunately, you lost your running back. Uh, I think, you know, you keep your running back in, in the game. You still go off and you get a chance to knock off with Clinton. And that's the team that won uh, state, right? Yes, sir. Yeah, so it just tells you where you guys are at. So, uh, like I said, I'm excited about this year. I know he's, ex he's excited. Uh, I'm excited that you, you, you gave us this opportunity. Um, is it Sean that, that – uh, that does a lot of your uh, uh, they, they called us out today. Yes, sir. Uh, yeah, Sean. I like to give him a shout out. I get names bad, so Shane. 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 Shane I'm Shane. sorry. See, there I go. I told you, folks. I'm keeping it 100. I get names <laughs> named, but Shane, man, I know he's reached out to us and and, and asked us to come out, and, and it's been a pleasure though. And I know he loves following. And, and, and guess what? We got a helmet. Yeah, we, we got a helmet. We found hey, we got the helmet. I also want to throw in there too. E, he came and watched a game last yeah. year of ours. You guys are always welcome. Uh, it just as our community and stuff, a a everything's open. Uh, we, we do things a unique way. I'm, I'm a different person, good and bad, special, whatever you want to call it. But I'm me, and I talk about being you all the time. And so everything we do from our practice schedule, our tempo, to just our atmosphere is kind of me. We got that chip on our shoulder. We prepare extremely well. Uh, and, and like I said, again, through practice, through our preparation, we build that confidence, and we talk about that and uh, just staying positive. And I hope E and, and, and all you guys and anybody that wants to learn more about her football will, will come out and get to know me, yes, sir. Uh, get to know our structure, get to know our system, our school district, and, and like you said, uh, building an unbelievable amount of homes here. We have great facilities. We have great administration. Um, I'm looking to be here for, for a long time in the near future, and so this is just the beginning. Hey, Coach, I mean, you, I mean, you just spoke on that, man, and that's the thing about it, man. You know, I know Era, uh, when they watch this video and, and see that what you just spoke on, being here for a long time, because I know you're a hot commodity coach, you're a young coach, and like I told the guys, you're, you, you, you can even go suit up and, and, and play quarterback for the team. You look so young, but I, I, I know that takes a lot off the hair because I know me being in this, in this field and, and, and hearing all the things, but uh, Hera got themselves a great coach, man, and I know they want to keep you here. And there's going to be people knocking on the door because when you got something good, everybody wants. But I know which, while you're here, you're going to do a great thing. And then, like I said, you have changed this community big time. You talk about your coaches. Yeah, they might be young, but by the time this season's over, they're all going to be veterans because you will put that in them. So, like I said, we're excited about Hera. Uh, uh, before we let you go, tell us something about the teams that you will face this year. I know week one, we all know week one is uh, McLeod Indians, but so, tell us somebody else on the schedule that, that hey, you're looking forward to and, and, and getting after. Yeah, McLeod this year, we get to play in week one, big rival. I couldn't think of a better way to, to be able to start the start the season. I'm looking forward to that this year and, and every year moving forward. Um, they got a new coach this year, Coach Ramsey. Uh, from what I've seen, he's doing a good job. Um, I think they're going to be one of the better McLeod teams that they've had in, in the past couple of years. And so I've uh, never lost to McLeod since I've been coaching here. Yes, sir. So I'm looking to keep that up. And then this year it's at McLeod. Um, so it, it's going to be crazy. It, it, it'll be a great community event for, for both sides of that. And uh, I'm trying to contain my excitement uh, <laughs> for, for that opportunity. Yes, so sir. like I said, it's, it's a whole vibe. If you have not, uh, uh, like I said, there's a lot of rivalries within the state and stuff like that. But I, I would uh, go out on a limb and, and, and say that this is up there in the top five in the state. Yeah. And so these guys have been playing for a long time. And, and, and like I said, it's going to be uh, red and blue and, and – 
like I said, we'll we'll see who comes out on top uh, when when the fourth quarter ends. Yeah. Well, I, I gotta ask you though, know, because we got a chance to meet your QB, and I looked at some of your receivers, man. Um, you probably have one of the tallest receiving cores <laughs> in, in, in in your class. Uh, you know, you look at Big Luke, man. I mean, your QB, like like I said, it's first year start versus uh, football. He's going to be a sophomore, but I, I watched a lot of your seven on seven games and he can sling the ball around. So are you going to adjust your offense a little bit and, and be more of a, a passing attack and, and get away from the running attacks? I know Harris has always been a smash mouth, hit you in the mouth uh, team, but you know, with, with, with the weapons you got now, are you going to change it up any? Yeah, I think that uh, our, our new quarterback coming in has got some different abilities than our previous quarterbacks, which, you know, Nolan Boone, all-state quarterback, yes, sir. Uh, but but he was one we liked to run in between the tackles and gave us that option, I think, with uh, – with our new quarterback that uh, Joey's going to be able to, to vertically attack some defenses a little bit more than we have in the past. I still look for us to run the ball. I think that's where games are won, where it should start up front in between the boxes. And so hopefully that'll give us some opportunities. Um, but yeah, he's, he's, he's special. And uh, we're we're thankful for him and all the all those kids that have put in like I said an extreme amount of work this summer, um, and and I know they're just as excited, uh, not only for week one to get underneath the, these Friday night lights, but then you, then you throw them a cloud on top of that. So, like I said, you guys are going to have to be heavily involved in that moving forward and kind of check check how everything plays out with that. So yes, I expect it to be a very good ball game. Yes sir. Yes sir. Yes sir. Well, Coach, like I said, we appreciate you coming on and, and, and letting us come out and do this media day. Uh, like I said, it's our first, but I mean, it's been a, it's been a really cool deal. Uh, you see it in the college all the time. You don't see a lot of high school teams do it, but I think that uh, once somebody watches the show, they go every high school team is going to be doing because I think it's a good atmosphere. A good atmosphere. You got young young children running around on the on, on the field, and, and and you know some of these kids look forward to like I can't wait to play on this field and and get to see some of their favorite high school players, and then having the junior high kids because hey. The junior high where it starts at. They gotta they gotta know about you. Hey, do I wanna play for this guy? And every one of these young men love Coach Blink and so they can't wait to get here. So what you doing here, everybody's drinking that Kool-Aid. Uh, and it's great Kool-Aid, because I'm telling you right now, what you're doing here is outstanding, because if you looked at this program five years ago, they was winning one ball game, you know, maybe no ball games, but you have turned it around, and I'll tell you, you're, you're the hottest things out since Denny's Hotcakes over at Jimmy's Eggs or anywhere you go get some good hotcakes. You know, I like to eat. That's why I said that, folks. <laughs> hey, I, the last thing I'll say, man, is is I know we talked a lot about community. Uh, we talked about my coaching staff, and really I talk about you guys. Uh, you guys have had a really uh, positive effect just on my experience being the head coach here, being here at Hera. Like I said, my community is top notch. We have a ton of support, and then and then my coaches, man. They uh, I have high expectations not only for our players but our coaches, and, and those guys continue to to meet that standard and, and those expectations daily. And like I said, I just appreciate you guys uh, and, and everything. Really, this this you know giving us this opportunity to have this conversation today and be able to do what we do. Yes, sir. We appreciate, we appreciate you, you sure. coach. Yeah. We really do, man. Go take care of business, man. I mean, thank we'll get you guys. That old, old ball chasing. Yes, we'll sir. Started right now. Yes, sir. Yes, <laughs> thank sir. You. Good to see you guys, thank man. You. Thank, thank you all for coming, man. Bye.